Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of dun 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 Capricorns. Hi Capricorns, this is your reading for January 2020. This is actually going to be, I, it's, I know some may say this is Capricorn's second because, you know, technically I already did a Capricorn energy reading, but I don't know if that counted so much only because of the simple fact that it was, you know, collective and I wanted you guys to have your own thing. Because uh, it is Capricorn season. Happy birthday, Cappies. Okay, I am a Capricorn moon, honey. So, this is for you Capricorns. Let's just get right into it. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is also for the Capricorn Cross Watcher. Okay, take it as it resonates. Remember, energy is fluid and time is an illusion. Ten of Coins, Five of Cups, Four of Coins, <sighs> Five of Cups in the middle of these two cards is kind of like this energy, this sadness, this despair. It's like unable to let go of something that could have been long-term with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles could have been a long-term job, a long-term committed relationship, okay? Four of Coins is being stuck, refusing to let something go. It's their sadness because a lot of people are having to wrap up and say goodbye to old people, places, and things old jobs you're having to say goodbye to old ways of living like your house moving but you have to say goodbye to the old in order to say hello to the new like you have to you know what i just saw in my head i saw somebody that's about to walk out the door like let's say this is a metaphor right symbolic of like you're moving house and the house is cleaned out and you're standing at the front door and you know it's like your very last time that you get to stand here at the door and you take one last look and you know when you close this door you're never ever ever going to be able to come back like this is it and even though you know where you're going where you're moving is going to be better it's bigger it's better it's more suited to you whatever it would be it's an upgrade you know that but it's still this like sadness of like i'm never gonna come back here i'm never gonna come back here again i think that for a bunch of people that this resonates for they were stuck a four of coins they were like hanging on they were stuck I, the universe may have ripped this out of your hands so that you were forced to say goodbye. This could have been a karmic relationship. This could have been a job. I'm not sure exactly what. <coughs> the Five of Cups energy is that of regret too. Six of Swords, see it's moving forward. It's moving on. It's moving. Literally, I use the word moving like that. You know, it was like, some of you, it's a literal moving house. But some, it's moving into your whole new life and having to say goodbye to things that can't come with you into the new. And it's been brutal for some of us. I thought for sure my old life would transition very nicely into my new one that's coming up. And that wasn't the case. Wheel of Fortune, the wheel will turn. Two of Wands. The wheel turns. There's another option. <sighs> another option presents itself. Whether you took it willingly, voluntarily, or if the universe took away the oat and gave you no choice, that's different for everybody. But the wheel turned and a new option presented itself. However that happened for you. The Wheel of Fortune is destined and faded. It's also karma. It's a karmic cycle here that ended, but somebody was stuck in it. Could have very well been a long-term relationship. <coughs> karmic. Could have been a long-term job that you were at. You didn't learn your karmic lesson, you stayed. 
karma isn't always about love. It's an upgrade moving forward, moving on, moving up. But will you see it like that? I don't know. The emperor taking charge, making moves. The emperor is not afraid to make moves. The emperor is very seasoned. Look at that justice on the bottom of the deck. Karma, this is also Libra. Emperor can be Aries energy. <sighs> Taking control. Being the emperor, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. It's embodying that energy. Emperor energy means I'm going to make the hard, tough decisions. If I got to go, I got to go. It's suiting up. It's calling the shots. Emperor could be a father figure here too. Could be This could be a husband. Or a father that had to make that tough decision to leave their family. Not because they wanted to. Maybe it's because it was karmic. But the wheel's turning. And this means, because we got the wheel and justice. This is karma. Karmic cycle's ending. And either you're going to let go or be dragged. It's, it's really the bottom line here. Let go or be dragged. The stool wand says, you have a choice, you're at a crossroads. You, have a, you, you, you can stay on this path or you can choose a new one. Somebody here was stuck. So they either stayed at a job too long, stayed in a relationship too long. And like I said, the universe could have dragged you, meaning could be tower-like energy. I don't know. Could be. I mean, it's a fresh new start. I understand the hesitancy, being afraid. But some of you, it's an emperor arriving. Not to save you because you don't need saving. But an emperor arrives once you let go of the old. Once you step into your emperor energy, an emperor arrives, right? It's like you, your empress, but you know it's an emperor energy. Emperor, empress, whatever. Because like attracts like, right? It does. This ten of coins tells me that even though you're letting go of something that could have been long-term or letting go of something that could have been lucrative, something lucrative or long-term comes in because when you let go, you allow. It's like they're saying, it's okay. I know you're going to be sad. You're going to miss this relationship or this house or this job. But the best is yet to come. It's like what your message is, Cappies. The best is yet to come. It's okay to be sad, to, uh, to, to be afraid to let go of the oh, that's, that's normal. But the best is yet to come. Holy fuck, I did a special love reading, best is yet to come, like in 2017. It was one of my most powerful special love readings I've ever done. And the growth for, for myself personally from 2017 to 2019 is insane. We've all been there. Where we were hesitant to let go. We were, but we, but we were given no choice, many of us. I wasn't given a choice. The universe said, let go, be dragged. And I didn't let go right away, and I got dragged, and then I let go. The best is yet to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an extended version. You can click on that link below to purchase it. And we're going to do a whole new spread with a whole new deck. And we're going to see exactly what is coming. Follow me on Instagram. It's xi underscore missy underscore xi. And reminder, my newest bracelet called The Phoenix. I am taking pre-orders. Click on the link below. It'll take you to my website. Um, those pre-orders will be mailed out middle to the ending of January. The stone is bloodstone I chose to use, which I'm super stoked about. It's a purification stone. And I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. You know Capricorns, we're bougie. That's how come I'm so bougie. I got my Capricorn moon. So see my bling bling. I got this from for Christmas. One of my um, stocking gifts from my baby girl. Anywho, I'll see you guys later, Capricorns. Love you.